Hey there, traditional archers. <sighs> Hope you saw my first shot of the day video for earlier today. If not, go check it out. Anyway, uh, I've been getting asked a lot of questions about my Torgia style tree seeds. So, I figured I'd show them to you. This one's the one that you guys see the most. I use this one quite a bit. It's pretty easy to move around. Uh, this one's made out of a, uh, what do you call it? A uh, cutting board, some kind of plastic. Uh, I picked up for a couple bucks at a Walmart. Uh, okay, and then the other one we have right here. This one is my spun aluminum. Uh, as you can see, I use a riot, I have a rope on this one. Um, but I will normally use and prefer to use the nylon webbing like you see on the plastic one. And then back here, let's see if I can bring you over. This one here is my lone wolf tree stand that I basically turned into a torch style tree seat. Also using a rope, I put a rope on it real quick, uh, you know, just to show you guys. Uh, but that uh, nylon webbing that I have on the plastic one actually is interchangeable between these three. Um, I use them all. I do use the plastic one more often. As you can see, that's all it is. It's uh, just a platform where you're going to sit with some kind of strap to go around the tree. That's all it is, just a platform. And your weight kind of locks it into the tree. So, of course, you're going to need a length of whatever that you use to uh, strap it to the tree. Um, I really don't know how long this is, uh, but I would say uh, maybe seven or eight feet, nine feet to be safe. We'll... Uh, be plenty for just about any kind of tree that you end up uh, sitting on. Um, I do have a couple of trees that are really big uh, that my nylon strap is just barely long enough to get around it and, and put me where I want to be. But anyway, that's a basically how all of these seats are. Um, if you give me a second, I'm going to turn off the camera and we'll turn it back on when I uh, take these off the tree and bring them over to the uh, table over there and we'll try to look at that. Um, but real quick, like I said, this is just a simple hitch. The way I have this attached, if you're going to use a, um, if you're going to use a, bleh, uh, a rope, it's just a simple hitch that's on there. I'll come right out. But my suggestion, 
go with nylon webbing. Holds on to the tree much better. And I will show you the little clip I have on my nylon webbing. It works with rope. It's actually designed for, to work with rope, but I'll show you that. That's what I prefer to use. It makes putting these things on and off tree real easy. So, uh, yeah, let me just take them apart while we're here. <clears throat> this clip is another, what do you call this, the uh, figure nine uh, by Night Eyes. It's a, it's a pretty cool clip. This one folds, as you can see, but I'll show you that to you better later when we get to the table. I'll see you guys back at the table in a moment. Well, I decided against using the table. <sighs> this is just more comfortable for me. Anyway, so these are my different tree seats. Uh, start out with basically the oldest one that I still use, which is my very simple uh, lone wolf tree stand. This is actually the seat part of a lone wolf tree stand. Uh, I'm not sure if lone, I don't think lone wolf makes them this way anymore. Uh, this one had that aluminum boomer, boomerang on the back. Uh, but yeah, all it is is just a platform big enough for your butt that you can attach a rope to and wedge it up against a tree. This one, you can see the way it's shaped here. <clears throat> Bring it a little bit closer to you. As you can see the way that's shaped. It's supposed to, like, stick to a tree that way. Uh, this one's got a, got some teeth on it. Supposedly to help it uh, grab. Um, but I'll show you my other one. It doesn't have teeth on it and it grabs a tree just fine. It's just not that good on slippery bark. Uh, trying to think what kind of tree I've had problems with. Off the top of my head, I can't think of it. Um, but yeah, that's that. Now let me show you <clears throat> This one here, this is my foldable one. It's made from spun aluminum. I put a, uh, what do you call that? I'll take that off. Piano hinge on it. As you can see, I took the shape from the uh, lone wolf tree stand. Basically copied it. Cut the aluminum to shape. Split it in half and I drilled a bunch of holes in it. Yeah, time consuming. But I drilled a bunch of holes in it to see if I could uh, lighten the weight. And uh, it's pretty good it's not too heavy uh, if you are planning on putting a hinge on yours if you make one uh, 
this is the side I sit on. And it's gonna close like that. That way, when you're sitting on it, stress is over here, there's stress over here. Because obviously, if it was like this, and you have the uh, line coming off the sides like that, you sit in the middle, it's just gonna pull it off. Okay, so that's how that one is. And finally, this is the one I use the most. This is made out of some kind of plastic. This uh, was a uh, cutting board I found for a couple of bucks at Walmart. Bought a bunch of them. I use them for all kinds of things other than cutting on it. Uh, and this one, as you can see, the design is different. Uh, this one I stuck to pretty much what would be considered the original Torgis tr tree seat design. Um, although my holes for attachment points are towards the end, where if you look at the original designed by Dean I believe that's his first name Mr. Torgis uh, his I think he says all you need to do is put your attachment holes just beyond halfway here's the tree halfway and then just beyond that um, but Putting it all the way on the end seems to work fine. I have another hole back here so that I can set it up in such a way that if I put the, put the strap through there, I could use the rest of the strap as like a shoulder strap and I could just hang it over my shoulder. Um, but I use a pack. Um, so when I have this all wrapped up, I just, uh, strap it to the back of my pack that's what i do with all three of these i just strap it to the back of my pack um this one i don't know if you can see that i got some uh pieces of velcro here uh because i have a seat cushion that i put on there um with the uh corresponding pieces of velcro on it and keeps it there uh i use that seat on all of these uh, but this one, I had the, uh, the area to actually put some Velcro. Um, one thing I want to really point out to you guys is, yes, you could use a rope, but I found that using nylon webbing, uh, works much better. You have a little bit more surface area that um, holds on to the tree better. Uh, the rope tends to roll a little bit, you know, uh, when it's on a tree. Uh, and, you know, when you're adjusting it, you don't want it to slip down. This one, the nylon webbing tends not to slip down. It stays in place. And uh, one of the things I use here I use this with the rope as well. Um, it was actually made for rope, but uh, it works great with this nylon webbing. This is, it's a product by Night Eyes. Um, don't really know what they call this. I just call it a cam lock clip. Uh, Got a carabiner on this side, which I don't really need. I have a loop here already that my clip could go on to. And then I can adjust it and then get it into the cam. And the cam holds that real well. So, yeah, that's uh. 
those are my torture style tree seats I hope you liked it uh, I don't know what else I can say um, we got dimensions uh, I think this is about 14 inches wide I know it's not 12 yeah it looks about 14 maybe slightly more but I'm not a big guy uh, if you're gonna make it out of wood I would suggest not to go smaller than a uh, three-quarter inch plywood um, you bigger guys might want to go to seven eighths uh, because it'll flex eventually um, that's what I had found when I used to make them out of wood um, I mean me being a smaller guy I was using uh, half inch plywood and uh, I found it started to flex a little bit too much for my liking and uh, one day thinking about cutting out another piece of plywood I happened to look over at my old uh, lone wolf tree stand and I was like, ah, let me make that into a seat. And uh, I just stopped using wood. I used that lone wolf for a while, a few years. Uh, then I made the spun aluminum one. I had an opportunity to get a couple of nice pieces of a, uh, big pieces of uh, this aluminum. And uh, yeah cut that out to, sh to shape use that for a while uh, the nice thing about the spun aluminum one is because it folds I can uh, actually stick it inside my pack if I wanted to um, uh, that would be more for like traveling purposes if I'm gonna hunt out of state um, but I hardly ever travel at all to hunt most of my hunting grounds that I like to hunt are walking distance from, from right here. Um, yeah, may take a little time, uh, but yeah, it's all really relatively close. Uh, what else can I say? That's about it. Um, I hope this helps for you guys that were asking about my seats. Um, if you're planning on building one, like I said, for me, Go with the nylon webbing for your strap. Uh, this nylon webbing I have, um, I took it from a ratchet strap. I got tons of ratchet straps laying around and uh, I figured I'll hijack this one off of one of my ratchet straps. Uh, and it works great, you know. I mean, you know how strong some of these ratchet straps are. You know, obviously you don't want to use a super small one, but uh, what is this that's probably huh, maybe an inch and a quarter wide you know uh, that's all you need and I'll, I'll tell you this stuff is tough holds on to a tree a hell of a lot better than rope so that's it uh, if you guys got questions you're welcome to uh, message me whatever say hey uh you want to get see what other ones look like just do a google search for a torja seat and uh a couple of good articles on how to make them pop up and quite a few pictures a bunch of guys make them you know uh to be honest like i i, I was thinking to myself i'm kind of surprised so many guys were asking me about them because uh I've been using this style seat for, uh, it's got to be about 20 years. Um, I thought, uh, at least in the traditional archery community, that this was uh, basically like common knowledge. Uh, anyway, hope you guys liked it. Take care. Hey, real quick, uh, I just realized, um, 
I know it felt kind of funny saying nine foot strap. I just measured it. Uh, the nylon strap that I use is 12 feet long. Um, so my advice is I wouldn't go shorter than 12 feet for your rope or nylon webbing, whatever you use. But uh, 12 feet, that's what I'm using. That's what seems to work best. Take care, guys.